So most Victorians are doing the right threat thing, no question, but we have this continual minority of people who are knowingly, not by mistake, but are knowingly doing the wrong thing and putting people's lives at risk by doing so. It's ridiculous, it's unacceptable, and it is dangerous. That's why we've put in place extraordinary powers. It's why we've put in place uh, additional police, and the Chief Commissioner will talk about the additional police that are being tasked to the enforcement uh, role, as well as the additional PSOs that are being tasked to the enforcement role. Uh, so extraordinary powers for an extraordinary time, uh, largely to target some of the people in our community who think they can get away without following the rules. So just to be clear, Victoria Police will be out there enforcing the curfew. They'll be out there enforcing whether you can go to work. They'll be out there enforcing the stage four restrictions and the stage three restrictions in, um, in regional Victoria, as well as continuing the work that they're doing on the borders uh, to stop people moving from Melbourne into regional Victoria. And of course, they're enforcing the masks. We've seen, unfortunately, uh, just in the last 24 hours or 48 hours since we've had the curfew. And, and, you know, it is a big adjustment for Victorians to deal with the curfew. But we've had dozens of people who have decided they don't need to abide by the curfew. So even though there's an adjustment period, even though Victoria Police have, you know, take, given a bit of a grace period, there are a number of people who have knowingly um, breached the curfew. So somebody who decided they were bored and they were going to go out for a drive. Somebody who decided that uh, they needed to buy a car after 8pm last night, drive across the city of Melbourne. And we've also seen people who have picked up people from other households, again breaching the direction and then also breaching the curfew. All of those people were infringed last night. So be in no doubt Victoria Police are using their powers to do that. They will have extra police out there. They have those extra powers. In relation to that, those who aren't self-isolating, um, who aren't following those directives, you know, people who are positive, the, the people who are at the highest risk of spreading this, this disease, this virus across our community. Not only, you know, we've got the spectrum of fines now that gives Victoria Police some additional options in terms of making clear to people that this is being taken exceptionally seriously. Victoria Police also will be able to ultimately detain people if people continue to breach that. That is not what we want to do. We don't want to do that. But Victoria Police, under the new powers, will have that ability to not just fine, but ultimately for those who continue to blatantly and deliberately breach those self-isolation rules, they can do that. Similarly for those who continue to go to work. So this is serious. This is serious for all of us. That's why we have provided extraordinary powers to Victoria Police. It's why yesterday they issued another 161 fines to the community. We don't want to see that figure grow, but unfortunately, given we continue to see this minority of people out there in our community breaching the rules, unfortunately, that's likely to grow and Victoria Police will not hesitate to infringe people and do what they need to do to keep our community safe. Victoria Police members are members of our community, so they know this is really, really tough for everyone. It's tough for them as well as members of our community, but they also know that this is absolutely critical that they enforce these rules and they will do so. And I want to thank each and every one of those Victoria Police members who are out there putting their lives on the line um, in enforcing these, these um, penalties, in enforcing these directives on our behalf, on Victoria's half. Can I ask everyone to play their part? Support Victoria Police by supporting, following these directives, and we'll get through this together.